The offensive board on the cut to Berg, swings through, little reverse, layup is good! How did he make that one? Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David, thanks for tuning in, let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I will take a look at NBA legends talking about Larry Bird, how good his trash talking was, what an insane player was, so everything about Larry Legend. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. Alright, enough said, let's get right into it. Now the first player's opinion that I want to take a look at is from John Spider Sally, who obviously played for the Detroit Bad Boy Pistons and who had his rivalries going on with the Celtics and obviously he has a great story. Let's take a look. People want to talk about who's the greatest, the GOATs of all time. Y'all will never play against Larry Bird. Mm. Larry Bird will give you nightmares now. If, if you have to sit back and think about it. Where would you put, I mean, you, you mentioned Larry Bird. Where would, is, is he the greatest small forward of all time? Like, is he yes. two? Yes. So what do you, is LeBron a small forward in your opinion? LeBron, LeBron can play all five positions. Okay, so he, okay, so you're not counting so he's, small forward. He's like Magic. Okay. So Magic, LeBron, over here. Okay. Kobe and Michael, over here. Okay. Uh, Larry Bird and everybody else, over here. Bernard King, um, can you compare? Not, I'm not saying who's better. Can you compare? Obviously, a different kind of game, but a, a, a Larry Bird and a Kevin Durant. <sighs> mm. Kevin Durant is my favorite player playing now. I've told him that a thousand times. Um, Kevin Durant is not Larry Bird. No, no, it's Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is six eleven and shoots the ball above his head. So, but Bird was what six nine and shot that bitch behind his head. Yeah, with no, no wild with talking, hands, with jumper that just would we'll, we'll just talk shit to you too. I'm yeah. gonna shoot this, <laughs> right? And then I'm gonna go to the other side next time and shoot it again. And he would he would go, I'm gonna shoot this, and shoot it, and be talking. I told you I was gonna shoot it. And I remember one time he was just talking so much to me. He's go one two three. I got two quick fouls because you know that means you got to sit down. Somebody else come be a highlight reel mm, and, and it would worry you it would worry you and he can dribble pass people didn't realize he was 6'9 so He's if big. you thought he was going to lay it up and he would dunk how on how much you. was he like 230 yeah 230 okay didn't he have a game where he shot all left he oh he could have he had like 30 with his left yeah he, well I tell you this I tell you <laughs> Stack you know how you play defense you lean and then they don't do this anymore, but they and they do a fadeaway, mm -hmm. right? Everyone did it, right? Guys would bang you and then fade away on one leg, try to be like, you know, uh, Wilt Chamberlain. Larry would hit you and go like this, and then you would fly by. Shot fake. And he'd be like, stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and the next player's opinion that I want to take a look at is from Byron Scott, who played for the Lakers, and obviously Lakers, Celtics, you know the story. Let's take a look. You know, and it's funny because yeah, I, I tell a whole lot of people this when they talk about you know great players and they bring up Larry Bird. I said, listen, the dude couldn't jump, wasn't fast, you know, but wasn't athletic. Mm -hmm. But you look on the score, you know, the, the score sheet after the game, he got 25, 15 rebounds, nine assists, a few still. I said, the dude just knew how to play, yes. right? And the thing that I loved about him is that he was a shit talker. <laughs> yeah, I, and I wish you'd have got a chance to play against him, Robert, because I swear yeah. to God, you'd have loved playing against mm -hmm. him because the dude would just tell you where he's going, shoot it in your face, talk shit to you, and run back down the floor. Yeah. And he, he was he was just one of those guys that, you know, he, he had, he just had it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, he I had it, about, and yeah. I saw it in college, and obviously saw it a whole lot closer mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when we get a chance yeah. to play against the Celtics. He was the biggest trash talker back in the day. But he would back it up. I grew up a Dr. J fan. But Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. <laughs>
I got to keep Larry <laughs> because Doc didn't really have the outside shot. Yeah. He could get to the bucket. Ice could do it all from anywhere. Yeah. Larry could just flat out score and give you numbers and be talking shit. There were times where he would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time. You might have heard this before because he did with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. He told you to play. You know, with DJ handling, Robert's going to, Mikael's going to set a flash, a pick for, for Robert. But Robert, that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. <laughs> and he says, if you trail, I'm going to trail into the lane and to a little floater. And he said, if you fucking pop, he said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm going to pop to that corner and bust a jumper in your fucking face. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. I'm, I'm all up on it. <laughs> You know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. You know, I'm like, you know, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I ain't talking. Sure enough, man, the ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting. You know, waiting. Uh, and, and. <laughs> I like it. I like people to talk shit to me. Cause it is what it is. It I is. I don't have no I don't have no me. I don't hold no grudges. I ain't got no feelings about it. It makes me even better. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Cause if you was working with my mama last night and my wife, I was with yours too. You forgot she didn't call you for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but she got in at 10:30. You, like you, you mad at me now? Cause I know what time <laughs> she got in. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Her talk shit, shit like what? like like we talk Let me or like. Tell y'all some bird used to tell me. Look at like. I'm gonna go shoot this motherfucking jumper in your face right there in that cone. And it's gonna be your Christmas present. I'm gonna wrap it up and bust your head open. All that shit. He was the coldest dude I ever seen with that shit, man. Everybody be talking about these great greats. They don't be always mentioning him. He was the shit. Yeah. The shit, man. He'll give it to you any way he wanted to. Any way he wanted to. Larry Bird was cold. Times in a row down court. Larry Bird got the ball on Rodney Rogers, and every time he was about to make a move, he told him what he was going to do. One dribble, pull up, going left, off glass. <laughs> Fuck it. One dribble, going right, spin, shot, bucket. He scored nine times or eight times in a row left the court to go lay down because he couldn't sit on a bench. He had to lay down because of the back. back. And said, young fella, look like 84, huh? <laughs> Last time he made <laughs> yeah. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow. I think it was 86, 87. So we were playing Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. So they gave me the task of guarding Larry Bird. <laughs> so it's guarding Larry Bird. I'm like this 25 year old rookie in the league. They said, Dennis, you have to guard him. And I'm like, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> guard him. So I, that, that was my whole job to guard the toughest guy on the team, on, on the other teams. So, you know, so I'm guarding him. And every time I turn my head, he's over there in the three-point line. He said, I'm over here, Rook. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I got to go out there and run out there like a dumb, dumb ass. <laughs> so let's go out there trying to contest him. He hit the three. I'm like, okay. Da -da. What did you know about Larry Bird prior to that game? Well, Shannon, um, the summer before, they had the WIT tournament. Okay. And they brought all the best college players together. Okay. To play against the world. Okay. And man, I see this guy, you know, blonde hair. You know. <laughs> I said, like, all right, let me see if he can play. Okay. Man, I'm sitting there watching him shoot Shannon. 
He must have made 30 in a row all net. <laughs> so I he said, was Steph Curry before Steph yeah, Wade. Yeah, yeah, Steph. yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting up there. <laughs> you know, to me, being a huge Larry Bird fan for so many years, it's just amazing. It's so much fun to hear stories from other players talking about Larry and just to hear the appreciation that those players have. And if you have those players who were rivals like Lakers and Pistons, and when they say those things about Larry, that means a lot. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.